We've spoken about Misfits over 15, but now we need to speak about Jack Catmull versus Josh Taylor 2. Before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, and follow. Let's get right into it now. Kicking us off, we're going to start with the fight. Very entertaining, very enjoyable. Josh Taylor getting hurt, cracked even a few times. Jack Catmull in the same position as Josh Taylor. A very close fight. I agree with one of the scorecards. The other two, not so much. And I think it's obvious which two I don't agree with, which was the 17-12. But there was one that I agreed with, which was like 16, 13, something like that. This fight was a lot closer than what one of the judges, well, what two of the judges were saying. It was good. It was competitive. Could Josh Taylor have stopped Jack Carroll a few times? Probably. Could Jack Carroll have stopped Josh Taylor a few times? Yes. It was a good fight. I will give them that. It was entertaining. It was enjoyable. Jack Carroll had a bit of an awkward stance. Josh Taylor coming in with a different coaching in this one they both kind of start with their hands down and low and i understand that's jack carroll's game plan but there was a few times he was getting caught and, you know, and, and i'm sitting there thinking don't get caught you don't want to be caught now i was wrong with the judges right it was what majority decision i believe and not what i said it would be which was the split decision i thought that it would be a josh taylor win but i thought that one of the judges would probably squeeze it towards josh bob aram had a breakdown after the fight saying he disagreed with two of the judges which is the two that scored it a lot further than what it was and saying that he believed that josh taylor won that fight and i i no disrespect bob aram has been in the game longer than me much longer than me but i disagree with him i don't think josh taylor won that fight i agree it was close i agree that if you give the rounds there's a lot of close rounds so i believe if you give them either draw rounds or josh taylor rounds Josh Taylor wins. If you give him draw runs or Jack Catterall runs, it's a draw or it's a, a Jack Catterall win. I truly believe Jack Catterall done enough. And I believe that they've both done extraordinary well to set us up for a third. Now, I do believe Jack Catterall said he doesn't want to do a third. Josh Taylor says he does. Now, Josh Taylor has a lot to learn from that fight. Jack Catterall also has a lot to learn, but Josh Taylor has also switched coaches, as I said. So I feel like Josh Taylor could go back and get more comfortable with his new coaching system, with his new coaches, and be more comfortable and confident with them. I believe that Jack Catterall was getting a bit too comfortable in that fight, which is when he was getting caught. He was enjoying himself too much, which... You should be enjoying yourself in there, but I feel like if you go over the limit, there's a limit that you can go over, and then you're just way too comfortable, you get cocky, and you get complacent. And I believe Jack Carroll got called out a few times by doing that. But I truly believe the right man won, and I thought it was a great fight. I hope there's a third. I truly believe that either guy can stop the other one in the next one, but has someone got that dog mentality too? I feel like Jack Carroll was kind of stopping his own offense. He was kind of landing the shots and getting in too close and allowing Josh to kind of stop him. What I feel like he should have done is got him up against the ropes, framed out and kept working a little bit and keep framing out to work instead of getting in, landing like 10 shots and then Josh Taylor kind of stopping that entourage. I don't know if that's the right word, probably not. And then coming out and working himself that fight was a chess match it was you move i move and i believe jack carroll done josh taylor done a lot better on the counter man I, i'm, I'm gonna re-watch that fight it was very enjoyable to watch but that's just my thoughts and my opinions what did you guys think did you watch fights and if you did did you enjoy it what did you guys think of the judging but apart from that i'll catch you in a bit take care and peace